hard work you've done. It's been all on your shoulders. And uh, you've all been the front lines of this crisis for months and months. And now heading into the holidays, you're facing a, a, uh, another surge in infections, hospitalizations, and death. And it's putting huge pressure on your hospitals and your doctors, your nurses, the healthcare workers. And it's taking massive, massive human toll uh, on your economies. And I know many of you are facing shortages of PPE and testing and other supplies. You need help. And I want you to know that I will be your partner in, in the White House. I, I, I don't see this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, I don't see this as a red state issue or a blue state issue. I see this, we're all this together. Today, I, I'm, I first of all, thank you for doing this. It's a bipartisan meeting here, and I want to I want to hear from all of you what you're seeing in your states and what you need uh, from the White House. And, uh, you know, with me today uh, are, are the, are the uh, co-chairs of the uh, of, uh, we have we have co-chairs. We have a large group, but the co-chairs of the uh, our advisory council on COVID, Dr. Kessler, Dr. Murthy and Dr. Nunez Smith. Unfortunately, because of the lack of uh, what they call uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, a sermon uh, by the GSA, my transition team, hasn't been able to get access to information we need to be able to deal with everything from testing and guidance to the all-important issue of vaccine distributions and vaccinations. You know, we haven't been able to uh, get into Operation Warp Speed, but we will take uh, what we learned today and build on that for our planning. I also understand that many of you, uh, that you, uh, you have serious resource constraints as you try to fight this pandemic, and that has limited your ability to do what you need to do. And uh, I want to—I mean this—we we both want to work with you. We want to work with you and the Congress on a bipartisan basis to make sure you get the resources you need.